I'm going to use a simple flip chart to show you the concept of why we would use the reset button in making a flip chart. So I'm going to ask the students to draw a line from the picture to the name of that picture, to its noun. But before I do that, I've created this flip chart and I want to save it. So I'm going to go to File. I'm going to choose Save As and I'm going to choose the name of it and click Save. Now then, this version has been saved. I'm going to ask the students to choose the pen tool. I'll let them choose whatever color they want and have them draw the line from the noun to its word. And when they're through, we're going to reset the page. So we've checked it together. We're going over to the red arrows here. This is the reset button. When I click the reset button, it's going to take away the lines that the students have drawn and it'll be back to the flip chart that I saved. It goes to the last save version. So there's our reset button and now it's ready for the next student or the next group of students to use. So you see you can create a flip chart on any level, kindergarten through high school, and using the reset button you can get it to save back to the original version.